today I got about an hour before the sun comes down. Check out this massive tree. It'll back out a little bit. The sun's right there. I cleaned the spot so that I don't mind showing it. And uh, all the areas around it. Uh, bottom line, I'm just here to see if I left any nickel signals probably in this area but anyway uh, I got some good stuff coming up on, on uh, some clips that I made in the last few days so uh, uh, I got a bucket lister for you well I got a bucket lister for me but you're gonna see it and uh, some other good stuff so uh, I'll let you know if I find something here if not you're gonna see clips from the last few days hi guys so I just came out here for a little walk so I have a little time so I decided to wander those hills and one thing I want to show you we got to thank erosion for that one right there see it I think this actually might be silver got to wash it up well, let's see yeah it feels pretty heavy yeah it's got to be can't see anything inside but uh, the weight is pretty hefty pretty cool of course it might turn up not to be silver but I will let you know hello guys so I'm in this uh, Toronto ravine Cashmore went through it didn't find anything but uh, I was checking out a park next door and I'm like, I'm already parked. Why don't we just walk over here? Um, so far, it did not impress me. But uh, I got a penny signal. And something other than penny came out. It appears to be copper. Some kind of M, some kind of pendant. Of sorts. I'll have to clean it up and see what it is. Maybe it is something army, it's some kind of star. Maybe, but maybe not. We'll take a look at it, we'll clean it up, we'll take a look at it on the on the wrap up. Well it's definitely not silver. But it's cool find. It's good to get the first cool find of the day. All right, just a scratchy signal right on this pathway on the side of the hill. And looky here, it's definitely old, old green toy car. It's missing its bottom. The wheels are rusted, it's kind of falling apart on the side, but it's cool. Check this out. That is really cool. We'll clean it up gently and we'll probably see it on the wrap up. This is awesome. All right, here it's kind of wettish here. I got uh, a solid 32, and uh, I really did not. My major expectation was garbage. If you look here, it's an old frame of some sort. It's falling apart. There is a piece of fancy to it right there. There it is. Some kind of a copper, old copper frame. That is cool. Awesome. 
All right, we'll keep that one. All right, so this is a no way kind of moment. I think I got myself a backup blister. Uh, this is where I dug the pendant recently. I came up there on the hill, started uh, swinging. I got a solid 29, 30. I moved the leaves uh, with my foot and the signal disappeared because it rolled down the hill. It was on the surface and it looks very, very interesting. Check this one out. Oh yeah. Better. Oh. I hope it's silver. It's kind of heavy. Sounded good. Sorry, it's dirty. I'm hoping this is my first ever silver one. I don't see anything. It is heavy though. There's nice powder. The color starts to clean up. I'm gonna look around. If I see any markings, I'll let you know. If not, I'll see on the wrap up. Still pretty cool. All right, nothing running out of ground. Not finding that much. Just got uh, a bullet here. Always nice to find a bullet. Sounds like a wine cup or screw screw cup, but it's much better. All right, guys. I'm at the spot we found it with. Uh, Digging uh, Canada and Cashmo, uh, Mikey and Daryl. It's, uh, but I decided to come back here. What the hell? The last time I came back here, I got a small silver ring, a largey. Uh, right now, it's not a big spot, guys. But it, it goes. A while back, this one's only 1949 D. But you just never know. Go slow, and you never know what you're gonna get. All right, so we got some success at the bottom of this hole. I think I'm zoomed in. Yes, sir. let me zoom out. Right here, we got a large scent. Mm, let's see, one cent, it's KG5, so 1911 to 19, it's either 19 or 13, uh, looks like 19, we'll check it out on the wrap up, but that's, it's nice to get a KG, KG6 largey, awesome. All right, so I just got uh, behind me a couple George the Six pennies. Just dug a weedy. Basically, every iffy signal, lower heightens, turns up to be some kind of penny. We got Elizabeth the Younger here, and this one's nice, 1935. 1935 KG5. Awesome, we'll keep going. All right, obviously before, this was a park, hill in the park, it was a dump. Right there in this hall, yeah, almost uh, this much, it's, uh, I'd say 10 inches, nine, 10 to 10 inches. Uh, check this out. Cool old truck in red. A little bent. I'll clean it up. It should look okay. 
really nice awesome so hi guys uh, I no longer was getting any good signals so I noticed that near my honey hill they've been digging stuff up making new pathways uh, find the way in uh, um, so uh, there's this big hill of us first thing I noticed check this out oh this is so cool a hand look this is old you know to, this part is broken but this is cool let's see if we can take this off oh I don't know if that's unscrewed. I'm gonna take look at this red shards in here. Maybe I can find something around here. Okay, I'll show you guys later. All right, on the next clip. Hey, uh, I wonder what kind of bottle was that from? Round bottom, definitely old. Probably hundred dollar bottle there. This is cool. Nice little blue small medicine bottle. Oh, this is awesome. So cool. Oh, I found a slick bottle too. I won't show it to you, but it's a slick. There's some good shards here. I'll keep looking around a little bit. All right, I'll see you if I find something more. All right, so. Uh, they ripped this pathway here. I decided to metal detect it. And <laughs> first really good signal. It's a crusty dime. I don't know how old it is. It's, it's getting kind of darker. I think it's 1930. KG5. Awesome. Will need I require some cleaning? All right, guys, time for a wrap up. I think that's like take three. I always get some noise or something, or or I stutter. I forget the word, and uh, so hopefully this is the right time. So uh, two hands, uh, uh, actually two two shorter hands. One about half an hour hand and a little bit uh, of searching with my eyes. Uh, surface finds. So let's go to the surface finds. This all came from uh, an area that used to be an old dump uh, near where I detected. Um, so just uh, some things I picked up off the surface. Um, this handle, porcelain doll handle. Um, this you saw on the clip before. Uh, I was able to unscrew it from the rest of it. I, I believe this was a part of a trophy. Uh, glass Art Deco trophy. So that is pretty cool, I say. Uh, anyway, uh, this... Uh, this is puzzling kind of cool that's why I kept it a uh, couple shards uh, this one is actually tells me that the stamp is a good age uh, I can't really tell which bottle it's from but uh, it's from this type of bottle this one I I got recently sorry let me turn it around this one I uh, purchased recently, so it's a uh, round bottom, the same bottom that short came from. Uh, this is a really nice bottle, too. Uh, yeah, I got that recently. Uh, it traded up a couple things and uh, wound up with this nice, uh, about hundred dollar bottle. So this is sweet. Um, this uh, lid. It's uh, for a midget jar. I believe it goes 
with the jam jar. Unfortunately, it's pretty cracked on the side. It can still be used and uh, probably this part will be covered by the zinc band. So that's why I kept it. Uh, this, I think, is short from so-called spotted wear. I think it's spotted. That's the name for it. Kind of cool. A uh, couple more shorts. I'll show you the little blue bottle. Probably not. Not yet. That's a really nice tiny little cobalt bottle. Awesome. Now, uh, moving on. I got those uh, two nice little rounds with uh, just a tiny bit over spots so that was a good uh, good deal this one is uh, uh, 2012 um, I think this is uh, not a tiger Jaguar if I'm not mistaken it's basically equivalent of uh, Canadian maple leaf and uh, this one uh, it's basically an ounce uh, with the design based on uh, Liberty Dollar uh, design. Peace, peace dollar, to be to be exact, not Liberty Dollar. Uh, has a nice patina to it, and this is one of the better better designs that they used on the one ounce rounds based on this uh, the peace dollar design at least in my opinion all right uh, moving on dug up uh, a bullet oh, it's not focusing very well anyway let's keep going uh, some uh, keys we got uh, some U.S. copper pennies, Liberty pennies, some kind of, uh, I don't think it's a button, maybe it was, really not focusing very well, uh, all those little pieces of well, uh, lead, uh, some pieces of copper, this uh, nice uh, cool frame, uh, picture frame, I believe it was a picture frame, uh, kind of difficult to figure out the exact age, but uh, I would definitely say early 1900s. Some uh, copper, usual copper pennies. I washed uh, copper pennies from a few hands, so that's what you get. That's what you have to dig. Um, and some of the better finds are here. Oh, well, some of the coin finds. Uh, we got uh, the 60s, uh, 50s, 60s Young Elizabeth pennies. We got uh, the Georgia the Six pennies. We got the Wheaties. Uh, one, two, three, four Wheaties. Uh, on the intro, I did about half an hour nickel hand. This is what I got. Four nickels, nothing too old. The oldest is the 1955 uh, Jefferson nickel. We got a uh, couple of older Canadian pennies, 1935, King George the Fifth small cent, and uh, this really nice condition, 1913 large cent. I don't know what's with the focus today on the camera. It's not focusing very well. I'm not sure whether it's the background. Let's see. Yeah, it's really nice condition for a dark coin. One of my better large scents that I dug. I think when I put it on my hand that it does focus a little better. 1913. Anyway, this is a kind of a uh, find that I cannot figure out which occasionally happens uh, right there there is a tennis or badminton racket uh, looks like some kind of a medallion 
probably a Victorian Edwardian from what I've been told. Uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, and I think that got some indication on the back. I think there is an 06 over there. I think that might be a year. It's KBA 06 and uh, I'm not sure what it says. Duels. I think it's duels, which I tried to um, D O U L L E S. Whether it's a name or name of a place, I have really have no idea. Uh, and uh, on the bottom, I think it says C W D. So I could not decipher any of that. Uh, might be badminton. Uh, K, like all I could get when I googled KBA uh, and badminton together was uh, Kelowna, uh, I think Kelowna Badminton Association, and just doesn't stri strike me like that's the one. Uh, maybe I can figure it out in the future. Still, interesting relic. And uh, my best finds are silver. Well, let me, before I go into silver, I got another uh, toy truck, London toy. 1913 oil tanker. Uh, did I say 1913? Uh, it's number 13. The age is 1940 to 1949. That's when they produced this one. A little band. You can see it. Uh, the condition inside. It was sitting. It wasn't just lost in dirt. It's basically in the ashes. So with uh, part of a dump that's underneath the current park. Definitely a cool truck. Uh, I like these London toy trucks. Um, and the silver finds. I got this dime that I've been trying to soak in vinegar for a couple days. Uh, music looks like it has ended for me. Oh, no. Well, it's playing. Um, 1919 uh, dime, but uh, unfortunately it was under the pathway and there was there's some concrete or cement on it oops and sucking in vinegar for a couple of days didn't really work if anybody knows of a better method of dissolving this please let me know because it's actually not too bad of a condition underneath i think it looks good the crown looks okay so it would be nice to clean it up uh, if it cleaned up all the way to silver. All right, moving on. This lovely ring, unfortunately it's bad and probably beyond uh, repair, at least cheap repair. Uh, does not have any markings, but uh, it definitely looks silver, uh, weighs like silver, so I'm pretty sure 99% it's a silver ring with a crocodile or alligator and the bucket lister really really beautiful silver thimble the first one I ever found in silver I did find an aluminum one from the 40s 50s I would say I did not think this was silver right away because uh, it was a bit tarnished. The way it was sitting on on the surface did not uh, would not expect something very old. But uh, I'll post a picture hopefully at the end to see there is a marking inside. I don't think will be. Let me see if we can focus on the marking. No, because. Well, you're gonna have to trust me. It's says Sterling, and there is a company name. Uh, I did forget the company name. 
I'll try to post it with the picture if I find out again. Someone uh, uh, alerted me to the name of this company, but uh, I did get a lot of compliments on uh, when I posted the picture of this on Facebook uh, on the design of this temple. So, really, really nice design. I'm glad to have it. All right, uh, thanks guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next on 9 to Finder adventure. Until then, take care and uh, happy hunting.